charges is our king. Hey guys, what's up? We're back for another video. It's the Den Den Boys. I am Garth. This is Vaughn. And uh, we're actually filming in the games room for the first time. So yep. this is a little bit, little bit different. Casino uh, New South Wales. Yeah, the home, home ground advantage of Vaughn. So uh, today, as you can see, we're, uh, got, we're playing in, uh, a Disney game. Uh, the Lion King, and it's very important to note we're playing the. Well, you got the Mega Drive version there, but we're, yep. we actually played the SNES version for this review. Well, not really review, but thoughts and opinions. Mm. Um, I don't know. I, I, I saw the the new Lion King video release for the for the new motion picture yep. rather than the animation. Um, piqued my interest. I thought let's go back and play the Lion King. Um, I hadn't played it, but I I played some of the other Disney classics like Aladdin. Loved yep. it. Yeah, I think I think it's I mean it's a game that a lot of people remember fondly from that early nineties yeah. sort of era. You dabbled in it a little bit. Well, yeah, I hadn't played any of it, but you yeah. you, you had dabbled. I dabbled and, in it and, and hit a hit a brick wall pretty pretty early on, frustration wise. Yeah. Um, so I hadn't sort of returned to it much. So it was interesting to return to it together. Um, and, yeah, uh, yeah, these are our thoughts. So, I mean, gameplay wise, it's pretty straight up. You can see in the video, uh, it's basically just your run of the mill platformer, two yeah. D platformer. They they reign supreme in, in that era. Yeah. You know, every console. Bit. And then whenever you had a movie, you often had a platform game to sort of go alongside it. Um, yeah. You know, going right back to ET on the Atari. <laughs> <laughs> Let's never speak of that yeah. again. Um, <laughs> uh, as you can see, you know, it's a beautiful looking game. Yeah. Oh, straight yeah. away, straight. From, the, from, the, from the very first level, you know, it's a, bu it's a beautifully oh, yeah. crafted game visually. Definitely. Uh, I, loved all, I loved all the colour palettes, the bright pops and, off and the screen. And the animation, it's all about the animation of yeah. those 16 bit sprites. Uh, yeah, lovely but sound yeah. effects. Oh, the sound is a... Well, that's it. Yeah, yeah, the movie's all about the music, isn't yeah. it? And then the music features heavily in the game. And they did a really good job of that sort of MIDI... Beautiful, sort of, yeah, beautifully you know, remixed yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, you could recognise the tunes. You Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a lot of that nostalgia that goes into the game, that's you know, having played it, yeah, remembering yeah. fondly yeah. the movie. And it's like, what could possibly go wrong? Well, yeah. that, that's, where it, that's, what you, that's what you think. You, yeah. you, the first stage, you're thinking, this is... One, this is going to be great. I'm going to love this experience. It's going to be Aladdin all over again. Yes. Um, and then the second stage comes and those, those in monkeys, the pits. Yeah. Um, the hippopotamus tails. What, what goes wrong? Like, what's wrong with the... I think that the physics are like just a little bit off. Like yeah. with some of the grappling. Because you're grappling edges, you're Very grappling tails. And, Very frustrating. And, 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 it's just felt like, in some ways, it could have used a little more playtesting just to iron out those physics yeah, so yeah. that they pop. They, they're just a little bit wooly, a little bit loose. Yeah, like. there's a scene you just saw before, see, got all before on, on the screen, was that section with the swinging hippo tails yeah. and... Which is level two. Level oh, two, yeah. oh, yeah. And, and, and the hit, it just seems like the hitbox or the, the, the capture part for capturing the tail is yeah. just not quite yeah. tight enough. You, yeah. you never seem to... Perfectly, it was like amb it was ambitious, uh, but yeah, they didn't. It, it, it didn't kinda, quite hit the mark. Yeah, did it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, so that was that was sort very of frustrating. Inst instant death pits uh, oh. under those. So yeah. you know the stakes couldn't be higher. Get it wrong, it, it, there's um, no there's no coming back. So yeah. yeah. And I can't imagine a kid playing those levels for the first well, time. Well, yeah. Um, which is why it's important for us to mention that we played this on the Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo. because there are some apparently some fundamental differences between the, the Mega Drive and the SNES. Yeah, we have read that the, 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 the physics are a little tighter on the Mega Drive mm. and, it, and makes it a little bit easier mm. as a console. Yeah, uh, but having said that, we we stuck it out. We played it oh, all absolutely. the way through. This section was cool. This is one of the yes. one of the parts of the game where they actually mixed it up a fair bit. Yeah. Where instead of the side-scrolling platform that we've been used to playing the whole time. They had you coming, yeah. you know, with that mode seven at the screen and That's dodging right. the. Very cool. And for '94 to see that, that was like 3D. That, that yeah, was that like was very tech. That was, so that was a real highlight. Yeah, yeah, very um, cool. Level. Again, you got to earn that level to get to it. It's a few uh, stages. It was in. a few levels in, but I mean, you know, I, I guess it's that we've said it before. It's it's that problem between looking amazing, sounding mm. amazing. And then the actual playing of it doesn't yeah. quite hit the mark. Like yeah. a lot of those levels, like the level before where you're in the the bone, the bone, yeah, the elephant graveyard, elephant, gra yeah. elephant graveyard. Yeah. That's a beautiful looking yeah. stage. But again, there's some frustrating that's platforms. And there was even a section where you had to jump on that's these right. bone hooks to yeah. get up to. It's clearly something like an extra life or something. Rising. 
because the water touches you, you die. Yeah, so and we could not. I tried for yeah. like 20 minutes to climb that, and we could not do it. Had to just move on, gave yeah. up. Yeah. Um, so that you know, those frustrations come past. Um, this boss. Was this was a very yeah. This was a really cool boss. Comical. Yeah. Um, so there was lots of there were some highlights in there. Not, yeah. It was not all bad. No, no. Um, I think the gamers need to play it, um, but you know, I think yeah, it's just. For, for some frustration, but I guess that goes. We're sort of saying maybe, maybe back in the day when this game was coming out, and a lot of those Disney franchises or, or movie franchises, type, they were normally under the cosh to get the game out within yeah, a certain yeah, amount of time, yeah. so they were probably pushing for a deadline and maybe and, and I think, you know, rushed the, the, it out. The bar was set so high with Aladdin, you know, yeah. which which looks amazing, yeah. but but also plays amazing tight ass physics. Like, yeah, like yeah, absolutely. Aladdin. Which is um, why probably why this one. to expect the same <laughs> physics here. Like, it's yeah. probably why it stands out so much yeah, because you end yeah. up going, hang on, Aladdin is perfectly put together, and this one just doesn't quite. Yeah. Get it. yeah. Um, yeah, that boss was a highlight. Obviously, you're yeah, playing as, as adult yeah, Simba was adult cool. Simba. It follows the movie really well. Like the whole progression through, yeah. the, through the movie was great. Stylistically, the art direction is superb. That's like you know faultless in, yeah. in that regard. Yeah. Um, and also, I think you're going to see coming up later in the in the video. There was there was some really puzzling choices in the actual level design. Mm. There was a, there was a section where. Um, you got to a, a an end part of the stage with those volcanoes, yeah. and and things falling from the here it is here, yeah. things falling from the roof, and it, you know, instant death drops all around you, all it's around you, like, you to, with you've, limited lives. You like, made it through this whole section, yeah. which was tough yeah. to get there, and then you get into this cul de sac with these four volcanoes. And the game doesn't explain to you what it expects you to do. It throws yeah. in this mechanic that you've never seen the entire game. How would you possibly know yeah. to do it? And to know to do it. For those who've played it, no, yeah. that you had to roar yeah. at a certain time, like you had to time the roar right yeah. a certain amount of times, and a, and a brick would fall and land on the volcano and stop it from erupting. Yeah. But if you didn't know that, I mean, we had to Google. I mean, how would you it's possibly a, it's know? A game, that? It could be a game breaker, you know, and that's a very difficult game with limited lives, limited to continue. Yeah. Well, full disclosure, we did play it on easy for the extra lives mm. because it didn't actually make the game any easier. Yeah, it's the same game, but it just gave you some more chances. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, don't yeah, be fooled and yeah, think it's easy. Yeah, yeah. And nowadays, games like this would have unlimited lives. You know, like probably, the, yeah, probably. The, the, the... Um. So I guess yeah. Let's. I guess we'll probably start to wrap up. I mean. Yeah. Some pros. What'd you like? What'd you like well, about the line? Well, amazing, cases? amazing visuals. You know, like the, the animation, the, the color palettes, the you know, the, the styles. They consulted with Disney. They had animators on site. And, yeah. You know, the visuals, beautiful 16-bit visuals. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I, you know, the, the actual look of the game is amazing. Some of those, some of those level designs. Mm. You know, some, some nice of the variety of environments. You had like the, you had jungles, you had the volcanoes, you had uh, you know the elephant graveyard. You had this sort of maze area mm. with the hyenas in the second last stage. Mm. Um, so I, I loved yeah, yeah. the actual platform yeah. and level design. They really mixed up. They didn't do the typical you know ice stage, ice, jungle yeah, stage, you know, yeah, all that I mean, sort of stuff. It followed the movie, ice, but there was a lot. There was a variety, mm -hmm. and they mixed it up. Yeah. Um, the the downsides. This is probably one of the ones on the screen here. But the last boss fight was just. So unintuitive. Yeah. It didn't make any sense at all. Yeah. You, you basically had to hit the is it scar. Yeah, mm. scar. You had to hit scar two hundred times. times or something. But With there no, was no, no health bar, no feedback apart from I think after the two hundredth hit, he looked a bit tired. Or, uh, yeah, and again we were just pummeling. The, the game sort of got to a point where I was just pummeling him. It was almost glitchy. I was just pummeling him, pummeling him, pummeling him. You couldn't but really I, die. Like. Yeah. Theoretically, but uh, you didn't know. Yeah, it wasn't clear what to do. But it, it didn't give us any feedback. It's like, like, oh, they, they had this idea to recreate a scene, mm, but, but you know, and, 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 you know in, in theory that sounds great, but in application, it didn't quite work. Didn't quite nail it. And so, that's probably the story of the whole game. You know, yeah. In theory, you know, it, it, it's amazing. Yeah, it looks, beautiful sounds. Um, but in application, so we ended up. The there's a lot of times where we just we just found ourselves doing the same thing. You know, we played a lot of platformers, obviously, yeah, yeah. and thought. We're doing everything by the playbook. This is the platforming playbook. Why isn't this working? And then you'd end up having to go on Google and going, oh, I was supposed to do it 200 times and yeah. I've already done that. Yeah. What do I do now? I throw them off the cliff. And even that didn't work that well. Mm. So, so, yeah, amazing it's a mixed visuals, bag. amazing soundtrack. Um, just let down a little bit by, by the physics and some of the test counterintuitive yeah. puzzle sort of. Either it got rushed out or, or they didn't test it yeah. properly. Or all the money went on you know, visuals and sound and licensing yeah. and, and uh, you know, just some of the basic 
eight bit sort of platforming mm, yeah, rules, kind of they uh, lost it, lost it. Um, mm. But uh, but yeah, very interesting game. Which Look, it was worth. I'm, I'm glad we played yeah, it. Yeah, it was yeah. very difficult. I'm glad we got through it. We did, we did clock we it. Stuck it out. We, we did, stuck we it out. We played it through. It, yeah. Um, so I'm glad we stuck at it. It was it was worth well worth seeing the end and yep. being able to see the finished product. Um, yeah, it's just one of those games where it's a mixed bag. It's it's so much good mm. but so much wrong. And, uh, and where how nostalgia meets up with you know the reality of how yeah. it plays today. The actual platforming didn't work that well. Mm. The actual some of the level like design ideas didn't work that well. Yeah. And you just mm. you wish you could go back in time and say. Just, yeah, tighten, just tighten, this tighten up that up, and you've got a you have a a plus yeah, retro game yeah, that people would yeah. be clamoring for to get yeah. their hands on. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's our review or that's our thoughts on the Lion King. I uh, hope you dug it. Hope you dug the video. Mm. Um, yeah, if you like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so you get our videos as soon as they come out. We try to get a couple out a month for you guys. Um, follow us on our Instagram page. I'm on. Uh, we're obviously together. We're on the Den Den Boys, which is Den underscore Den underscore Boys, and you're on. Uh, retro games. Yep. So follow us on there, and uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts about the video, please give shoot us some comments. And yep. also, we, you can see we're in the games room here. We've got lots to play. Mm -hmm. If there's anything you'd like us to play, there's not much we don't have in this games room. So if you want us to play, uh, play it. Yeah, shoot us a comment, and maybe we'll do a little quick video and shoot some thoughts on it. Yeah, for sure. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. Peace.